Hi everyone, here's a quick video on using the compound shape tools in Gravit Designer. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Here is my website, and this is the template that you're going to actually download or copy and paste into Gravit Designer. So when you come to the website, you will see this you will see this image right here. This is all one image. I know it looks like different sections, but it's all going to be one. And what you can do is there's a couple things you could do. You could right click. And one that I know will for surely work on your Chromebook is if you save image and it'll download it to your Google Drive. Or you should be able to get away with just copying the image. Either way will work. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy this image. And I'm going to come over to my Gravit Designer tab and start off with a typical US letter landscape, 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And when you're in Gravit Designer, you will have to go Control V is the one command that does work in Gravit to go ahead and paste it. So I copy the image, paste it in Gravit. First thing you want to do is come over here to the left hand side and go ahead and lock it. What locking it does is it keeps it from moving around when you click and drag around it. Control Z, Control Z to move it back come to my image layer and go ahead and lock it. Therefore, this is no longer movable. It's glued down, it does not move. So what we're gonna do is follow these instructions right here on the right hand side. I'm gonna hit Z for zoom once, click and drag, zoom in. So you're basically gonna start by drawing the shapes, you select them, and then you use the compound shapes button up at the top. So let's move over. Let's start with this first one called union. Again, Z for zoom click and drag, you're going to start by creating these shapes right here on the left hand side. I'm going to start with this bottom pill shaped, which is actually, it's not a circle or an oval. It is actually a rectangle here. So I'm going to click on my shapes, come down to rectangle. And I'm going to start at this top right corner of where this pill starts, click and drag all the way over to about here. And let me go ahead and change the color so we can see this a little bit better. And I'm also going to um, add a border on it so you can see what I'm doing. And one other thing I'd like to do is on the fill right here, slide over to where it says 100%, click once, highlight it in blue, I'm gonna type 30, enter. And that reduces the opacity so we could see through it and you could see the shapes behind it. All right, now that this rectangle is still selected, I'm gonna come over here on the right hand side where it says corner and take this slider and slide it all the way over and it rounds the corners out. All right, shape number one. Let's go ahead and draw these circles now. Come up here to the top on your shapes. Go to ellipse to draw a perfect circle. Remember, hold shift on your keyboard. Click and drag. We'll draw this first circle. And I'm going to draw another one right here for this one. And let's kind of just move these around. I could use my mouse or just even use the arrows on my keyboard. Click, click, left, left, down, down, down. All right, close enough. So we created the shapes. Now to create this cloud over here on the right, we're gonna use the compound shape button. Actually, let me move this one up just a little bit. It is a little bit below. Um, if you wanna get this perfectly level, I, let's take a moment here. I'm actually gonna select both of these two pieces, the bottom two shapes, not the top circle. Grab both and come up here to the top where, and this will align the shapes on the bottom and boom, now they are perfectly lined up at the bottom here. All right, so well, I'm gonna select all three shapes I'm gonna just gonna move it over here for the sake of this video, for the sake of, I'm gonna move it over here. And the compound shape, we're gonna to go to union, which is right here at the top, drop arrow, union, and there we go. We have a single complete path. This is a new shape um, by um, combining all three of them, making it into one piece. All right, space bar, holding space bar so I can drag my page to the right. Now I'm gonna show you the subtract function, which basically takes whatever's on top of a shape and removes it, it subtracts, it subtracts it out, it cuts it. So you don't need to start with, you don't need to create a cloud again. I'm gonna take this one and let's just go Control C, Control V, that will copy and paste the cloud and I can drag it over here and now I have a copy of it. Don't lose your completed uh, cloud on this left-hand side, Z for zoom. Now for this one, I do need to draw this triangle and this rectangle. So let me come back up here to my shapes, go to my triangle, and I'm going to click and drag. Hold shift to hold to lock your rectangle. I'm sorry, to lock your triangle. And let's go over a little bit. Let's get it close. And I'm going to actually make it a little bit bigger. Let me hold shift and alt. It grows from the middle. And let me draw the rectangle. And you do need, let's make sure these overlap. So I'm kind of overlapping it on 
the triangle, this rectangle overlaps onto the triangle and out of the cloud. All right, so let's take this. I'm gonna move it over here and let's just go over here, up here to the top to the compound shapes and let's go ahead and click subtract. And it's gonna take whatever's on top and remove it from the bottom shape. And as you can see, this is now a complete uh, vector path. We can change the color to whatever we want, which I do, oops, let me select the shape. We select the complete shape and I'm going to change it to let's say to this bright pink and there we go. All right, um, these other two should be pretty much self-explanatory. Draw the shapes first, then you select the shapes and then you use the buttons or the compound shape buttons up here at the top. Um, I do want you to use your <clears throat> own colors, create your own unique colors for this assignment. Uh, whatever you want, be creative. If you want to do gradients, radial, linear, whatever you want. Um, and then to turn this in, you will do a file. Ex once you are finished, file, export it as a PNG, and that is the file that you will turn in. Uh, call it Compound Shapes 1. I will tell you one other thing. Let me investigate one other thing on this lightning bolt right here. There's a couple ways you could do this. If you'd like to create your own lightning bolt, you could just start with the pen tool which we have used before, the pen tool. And since these are straight lines, you are just going to single click. You do not need to click and drag and you could trace and create your own lightning bolt. Uh, let's go ahead and let's reduce the opacity so we can see through it. Over here on the right hand side. There we go, now I can see through it and finish. And make sure when you create shapes with the pen tool, make sure you start back at the beginning. And there we have a lightning bolt. Or if you wanted to, you could come over here to libraries and search up, uh, oops, nope, I like light, mean bolt. And you could experiment with some of these and see if you get one that's actually pretty darn close to it right there. All right, if you have any other questions, oops, spacebar, if you have any other questions, go ahead and let me know.